You guys know how I lose everything. I can't keep track of things. So I wanted to start working on different parts of things. So I was tired of scrambling to find my keys, my lipstick, my earrings. So life success coach Angie Johnsy has me on this 30-day plan to start organizing and stop overcommitting. Take a look. Hi, how are you? In Skype I, sessions. It's okay that you didn't bring it to class today. <laughs> and in person. Get it out of this space and onto paper. Life coach and Alabama native Angie Johnsy has been spending the month getting me to be more mindful. Angie's mission is to bring her clients clarity and peace in their stressful lives. There are some times, and I do think, uh, I don't think I'm alone in this, where you wake up in the morning, you open your eyes, nothing has happened and you already feel like stressed out yes. somehow. And I just want to wake up refreshed. Exactly. You feel bothered and you don't even know why. And a lot of that is just anxiety because the mind is, has been busy in the background talking uh. and um, worrying about things, arguing with people in your head. Like, <laughs> have you ever done that? Like you catch yes. yourself and something happened early that morning and that night you're in the shower and you're still arguing with that person in your head. Like, yes. what a waste of energy that is. Yeah. So what I want to do for you this month is to help you reclaim that lost energy and place it in directions you want to place it in so that you can be more productive, more organized. My problem areas are organization and overcommitting by saying yes too often. So I feel like I can't organize all my thoughts, stuff, prioritize things that need to get done. It's all about awareness. You have to start to pay attention to your thoughts. Mm -hmm. What's going on in there? Mm -hmm. Where is your mind spending most of its time? Angie says making a blueprint of your mind and thinking of it as a house is the best way to organize your thoughts. The most important room, the mission room. It's where you want to spend most of your energy. That's your to-do list your plans, your dreams. The things you can actually accomplish. Right now, what right can now. we do today, right now? Those things you can't control, leave those to a fate or higher power by putting them in the God room. So what kind of things go in the God room? Worries, Dated, uncertainties, worries. things that are facts, that are issues. And then there's the trash for second guessing and assumptions. Mm -hmm. So as the mind brings that to you and says, oh, they should have done this and this and this, you say, you know what? Thank you mm -hmm. for that. Now throw it away. Um, it's out. It's done. It's over. Mm -hmm. Now go straight back to the mission room and get mm -hmm. to work. In addition to working on nutrition and fitness on air, my mission for the month has also been to keep my mindfulness in check. And while Angie and I do not live in the same cities, we did find a way to stay in touch. I need an update. On week one was getting organized. I actually bought, got this pouch. And in the pouch, my work ID, hold on, yes. this is proof. My keys, yes. my lipstick. I have to tell you, I didn't realize something so small and tiny could make Save life simple. Because a lot of this stuff is just so absent-minded that we just keep going through life and we think, well, if we just spent five minutes to think, how could I make this easier? How can I make this better? It's simple. Like, so week two was saying, uh, learning how to say no without yeah. the guilt. It's about knowing your, the limits of your mind mm -hmm. and knowing what it can handle and what it can handle safely. I feel like I'm always happy to do a favor, but sometimes you're like running on empty. Don't say an immediate yes. Yeah. Like, you know, I get it. I get why you did. Give yourself a pause. Because if you're overextending yourself, you're no good to anybody. You yeah. Know? And now you're stressed out. And now. Yeah. Instead of wanting to go out with your friends, you're just wanting to curl up in the bed and watch <laughs> Hey, with Cheetos, don't tell Joy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you do, seriously, <laughs> she'll get mad at me. <laughs> she will. But I love her idea. She says, take your commitments, if you're overextended, write down the things you have to do every day. Yeah. You have to come to work, you have to feed the kids, you have to go to the grocery store, walk the dog, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then she says, when you add another commitment, you have to subtract one. Get mm -hmm. your husband to walk the dog because now you have to do X. If you have to bake cookies, like she says, instead of piling on so your list is so long, you're drowning. And that's, that's been helping. Oh, I, I love the point you make about we all get so wound yeah. up about things and then if you stop in the middle of being wound up and say, do I really have any control yes, over that? Right. And if the answer is no, 
Throw it's it away. Get rid yeah. of it. It's like the trash room and the god room are the two big rooms. And once you realize, once you get those out of the way, you have such clear sailing to do things you want to do every day. She's really good. Yeah, and the is. pouch is a lifesaver. <laughs> I love That's my pouch. great. Yeah. All right. For Hoda's entire mindfulness plan, just head to Facebook.com slash Today Health. And while you were there, let us know which Start Today plan you're following and how that journey is going. And we might reach out to you. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.